Hey guys, back on today. I'm going to show you how we can add our PC engine emulator version 0.82b3. This is a rare file. Open it up, you have a folder inside. So download PC engine emulator. As you can see, behind that, I've already got my PSP in USB mode. There's the game folder. Once you have it downloaded, your PSP in USB mode, you want to take the folder that is in the rare file and just put it inside your game folder. Mine's already in there, so I'm just going to say merge everything, copy and replace, blah blah blah. Alright, that's done. Now hopefully you've gone and found some ROMs that you want to play already. So I'm going to go into my ROM file here. There we go. I'm going to start with Splatterhouse. I've never tried this before. This will be my first attempt as well. So Splatterhouse. You want to take the Splatterhouse ROM that you just downloaded. And that will go inside the folder that we made that we added to the game folder. So this one, the PC Engine folder. So we take Splatterhouse and just put it inside. So there you go, it's beside everything else. Close it down, close all your windows. Let's go over to our PSP 3000 now. That's what I'm using today. This was a request, so let's give it a try, guys. See where it is in here, there we go. That's what we want to see. X to start, obviously. And there it is running. As you can see, we have our ROM right down there, Splatterhouse. Now did I hit the wrong button? So I've never used this before, it may be possible. Let's try it again. Because we know it booted up. Let's just make sure we press play for the game. Okay, so yeah, it's in Japanese. So let's X, uh, apparently exited, let's try circle. There it is. Circle works. Push run button Ladder house. Well, guys, have fun. Hopefully, this helps you. Questions, throw them at me. Comment, rate, subscribe.